talk about three quick tips that you can focus on if you're an athlete in quarantine. If you're a competitive athlete or an athlete of any type that's stuck at home right now in isolation and you're wondering what you could do to make the best use of the time, here are three suggestions I can offer. Number one is to work on your capacity to focus. Work on your mental game. If you can't just sit still without a distraction, then you're not gonna be worth very much when it comes down to a situation in a game where you have to focus. You might think that when the stakes are high, you can just zone in and focus. And that might be the case. You might be able to focus a little bit better. But if you really want to train your ability to focus, then you need to be able to be on self-start with your ability to focus. That means you need to be able to turn the switch on and off at will. It shouldn't have to be done for you by a situation because the situation may not force you to rise to the occasion sometimes, and but you still need to. So how are you gonna do it if you don't have that power within yourself to turn on your focus? So I would do this test. Put down all distractions, except for a timer, because I'm gonna have you time this challenge. Don't use the internet, don't watch TV, don't have music on, don't put headphones in. Set a timer for one hour. Shut the door to your room or go somewhere where you're not going to be distracted and just stand there perfectly still for one hour. Don't look around. Don't start thinking about a billion different things. If, you, if your mind is, starts going crazy, running on different things, just let it run. But don't try to focus on anything in particular. If you're going to focus on anything, focus on your breath, okay? Just be there, be still. You can also do this sitting, so you can sit on the ground and do it, but I would recommend doing it standing because it's gonna keep you more awake. Most people, if they go and sit on the ground, especially if they don't know how to sit properly, they're gonna get into a situation where the body just go, becomes lax and lazy and you're gonna get sleepy. So just stand, stand still, don't do anything, don't hold anything, don't talk to anybody, don't look at anything for one hour. See if you're actually able to do that. It's just one hour. See if you're actually able to just stand there and focus for one hour on nothing. The second thing is improve your nutrition. It's rarely talked about, and when it is, it's usually butchered. If your idea of nutrition for performance it involves protein powders and energy shake powders and different things like that, then you, you're, not, you're not fueling your body properly. So take this time to teach yourself how to cook if you're an athlete, then energy is extremely important to you because energy is what fuels your body and builds your body. So you should definitely know how to cook because you don't want to have to rely on somebody else to feed you all the time. Teach yourself how to cook healthy meals. Teach yourself how to use fresh, look as local as possible produce, fruits, vegetables, and just pay attention to when you eat food, how you feel afterwards, within the hour to two to three afterwards and the next day. Is your body processing it well or are you feeling heavy and sluggish? If you're eating food that's good for you, then you should feel light and ready to go, light and energetic. And that doesn't include uh, energy shakes and caffeine drinks and coffee and all that nonsense. Wipe that out. Don't have any of it and see if you can still maintain a high level of energy and focus. And that's what you should use to judge whether the food you're eating is good for you or not. The third thing you can do is improve your coordination. Let's say you're a basketball player or a soccer player or volleyball. You may not have the room at home, the space to work on your sports specific skills, but I think that's probably a good thing because these days people are spending way too much time on sports specific stuff and not enough time on just basic human coordination. So I would take the time to learn how your body works. Forget I'm a basketball player or I'm a hockey player. Just you're a human being. Learn how your body works. Learn how to make it work. Maybe take up something new. If you haven't done any martial arts in the past, Go on YouTube and look up some martial arts tutorials and, and see how you can adapt to those type of movements. If you haven't done 
I don't know, pick a style of dance, especially for the for the male athletes. If you haven't done any any type of dance before, look up some dance tutorials and try try to do them and see if you can if you can move. Don't put yourself in a box of this is how I this is how I move and this is the sport I play, this is what I do. If you're really an athlete, then you should be a universal athlete. That means that you're you should be able to adapt relatively quickly to any type of movement. So Go beyond what you're accustomed to doing. Teach yourself new movements, new patterns, new ways of moving, and see how quickly you can pick them up. And above all, just pay attention to your body and how it works. Do some simple things, and instead of just going through the motions when you sit down and stand up, run up and down the stairs, see if you can do it with a little more quality. So just run up and down the stairs and see how silent you can be. Get down on the ground and up 20 times as fast as possible, but as silently as possible. See if you can do it without making a sound, like a cat, okay? And just pay attention to the quality of your movement. So mental focus, nutrition, and quality of coordination, if you can make the time at home to work on those three things, then you'll definitely be ahead of the game coming out of this, and those are three things that a lot of other athletes probably aren't paying attention to and working on, so you can consider yourself one step ahead of all of them. Take care.